Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I haven't done a proper vlog in a while, so I figured I would do one. And usually, you know, I want to do these things. I have a uh, theme. I just had my two year anniversary. Oh, hey, look. The leaves are falling. We have a ton of leaves in this area, in my neighborhood here. Anyway, I just hit my two year anniversary in September of being here in Germany for two years. So I thought I would do a little video about how my views of the US have changed, how they've stayed the same, where I stand on my homeland at this point. Now I have to give credit to my friend Jay, who has a YouTube channel that I will link and I will link his video on this topic. I have not watched the video yet because I wanted to formulate my own thoughts and my own feelings before I watched his. Check out his channel. He has a great channel. As I usually do with my vlogs, I'm going to give you some sightseeing too, because that's just what I do. And I am headed to Schoenberg today to check out some street art and probably get a donor. Okay, not probably. And definitely get a donor at Ruyam, the best commuters in Kebab that I've found so far. And from there, we'll see where it goes. It is October 15th and it's 20 Celsius. I'm out here wearing a t-shirt and it's warm. This is insane. Wow, today is such a, a perfect day. This is such a beautiful day. I just had a uh, gamuza kebab at Riyam's that I would have filmed, but it was crowded and they were playing music really loud. And you know, with all of that going on, I didn't want to get demonetized or blocked. So I just didn't film. I just, I just enjoyed my donor. If you want to see a review of Ruyam's, check out my video about donors here in Berlin. I'll link it here. How to begin this discussion about how I feel about the U.S.? <sighs> I guess really in order to understand how I feel, we have to go back to the beginning. I made a video right when I got here. It had to be September 2020 because I was still in Bamberg and I talked about why I left the U.S. And I'll, again, I'll link that here and put that in the description as well. At the time, I said that I was afraid, like I, I don't, well, gosh, like I hesitate to talk about politics on the channel. I think most of you kind of know where I stand politically. I try not to talk about politics too, too much. I don't want to beat anyone over the head about it or be, you know, holier than thou about it, but I have my opinions. Part of what caused me to leave the U.S. was the direction in which I see the U.S. going. I've seen it going, I mean, since 2016 but probably my entire life has been a slow march toward fascism and it's only picked up in the last six years probably. My political journey, I mean, I've always been interested in politics and I've always cared. When Barack Obama was elected in 2008, I guess you could say I was, I was what would be considered, I was liberal, I guess. Um, I, I saw the election of Barack as a turning point, as maybe, you know, we're further along this path of racial, not harmony is not the word, racial equality, racial, whatever, whatever the word is you want to say. I, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. Yeah, maybe, maybe racial equality. It's, that's not exactly what I'm trying to get. That's not exactly what I'm trying to say. I think maybe I thought we were further along the path of progress than we actually were. Um, and maybe his election was the blip on the screen that was out of the ordinary. And where we are now is back to the ordinary. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, at that time, I would probably consider myself a liberal. 
I hadn't taken my turn to the left yet that would come later, namely starting in 2016. A little bit earlier, I, I mean, I started to get disillusioned by Barack. I mean, yes, he's better than anything that the Republicans will and could put forth, but he's still a neoliberal and he protected the interest of the capitalist class more than the working class and the middle class, I, st I firmly believe. That being said, I think overall his presidency was a success, but then it led to a firestorm of reaction. It led to Trump, it led to where we are today. This president who in any other country would probably be considered center-right was called a leftist, was called a socialist by people who obviously have no conception of what those terms actually mean. Yeah, the, uh, the election of 2016 really knocked me, knocked me for a loop. And at, it was at that point, I still was, I mean, I was working, I, I didn't have a whole lot of time to get involved in politics or, you know, think on a, on a deeper level of it like I am now. Yeah, so the election of, of Donald Trump was definitely a turning point in my life. thing about Berlin is you come across these parks you just randomly come across these parks and uh, this was a botanical garden I do believe so I'm gonna check this out Let's see if this is kind of cool it looks cool So when 2016 happened, again, it was a pretty big shock. At that point, I couldn't really do much because I was married and we couldn't leave, yada, yada. Flash forward now to 2020, Corona happens and my life circumstances have changed. And I was pretty worried about what would happen if Trump was reelected. Uh, I thought that would be the end of democracy as we know it. I still think that's an entirely too real possibility that the Republicans will attempt to steal the next election and the way the Supreme Court has been ruling lately. Uh, I don't hold much, much hope out in our different branches of government to provide the checks and balances that we expect. Corona happened and I decided to leave. I decided to come here and study and make a new life for myself. And so far I'm, I'm really happy here. Things aren't always unicorns and lollipops, you know? I mean, it has its hardships, but the way I view the US is that it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. I see the collapse into chaos and war as a real possibility in the US. I'm not trying to be a fear monger, but I do see that. And I wanna be a part of that. Is the US all bad? No, of course not. Individual people are great. It's a collective, identity that the U.S. has, a collective fault that was, you know, there from the start. You have a revolution of, you know, bourgeois, upper-class, land-owning aristocrats who were unhappy with the British government wanting to tax them more, and you have a class within that of slave-holding elites in the South who thought it was okay to own human beings. I don't think that attitude and that culture has ever really disappeared. You know, we've had moments of progressiveness, moments of forwardness that do I think the left will ever be a progressive left-leaning society like a lot of the European countries? Absolutely not. It's a conservative country steeped in religious lore and tradition that fetishizes guns and sacrificing some kids is the price you pay to own a firearm. That's how I think of it. 
My view of the US has changed since I've moved here, I will say, not for the better, because I've seen how it can be different. And I've seen how when even a moderately left-leaning country like Germany, there's no argument that healthcare is a human right. Even something so self-evident as that won't ever happen in the US. So yeah, those are some thoughts that I just had walking on this beautiful Sunday. I'm gonna keep walking. I'm sure I'll come up with some more thoughts and uh, share them with you. I'm sure I'll get some mouth breather in the comments saying, oh, well, you're just America hater, blah, blah, blah. I don't hate America. I don't love America. How do you love or hate an, an object? That's like, I don't love a tree. I don't hate a tree. I don't hate a bed. It's so irrational to love a piece of ground. There are good things about America. There are bad things about America. At the moment in time, I personally think there are more bad things than good things. And I don't want to live there. And I don't plan on ever living there again, if I can help it. Things might change. I will never say never because that's silly. But I guess that's how I, I view America in 2022, two years after moving to Germany. I feel sad for it. I feel bad for it. I don't want it to fail. I've got family still living there. I've got friends there. I don't want it to fail, but it will. It's just a matter of time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little chit chat. It has been such a wonderful, beautiful day getting out and exploring Schoenberg. I'm now in Gleistriak Park where everyone is out playing ping pong, riding their bikes. I'm guessing this will probably be the last, the last little bit of warm weather that we get until the spring. So you gotta get out and enjoy it because we're about to have four months of miserableness. But that's part of living here. So anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure you hit the like button and then uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. Till next time guys, I'll see you later.